Hi everybody. I am Dr. S. M. Bhatt. I will explain you uh, the Lignocellulosic Biomap to Ethanol Production. Uh, the first topic I will cover about the feed stock. What is the current status in the ethanol production? Why this is required? Why we are talking about the Lignocellulosic Ethanol? Actually, you will see the Lignocellulosic Ethanol means uh, Ethanol production from various agro waste that contain lignin, that contain cellulose, and how they can be converted into the ethanol. We will discuss about this technology. Actually, this technology is a little bit tough. That's why this is not common even in India, even at a global scale. The main problem uh, lies in lignocellulosic ethanol is getting fermentable sugar by digesting cellulose why we are not getting cellulose directly because lignin is there that's why this is called as the lignocellulosic biomass and this is actually west in our India or global state and we will see the current scenario in India more than 10 power 11 million ton of agro waste is produced annually which is not used which is goes waste the farmers are suiciding there are a lot of problems because technology has not been developed there are so many constraints in the technology that's why we are discussing that's why I'm discussing today about the lignocellulosic ethanol and if you'll see if this much of the biomass can be converted into the bioethanol so we can meet the target of production of ethanol up to 4 billion liter up to 2017 as per EU norms what is the EU norms EU norms says at least 5 to 10 percent blending should be there because ethanol we cannot use directly ethanol as a biofuel is good for blending uh, in the blended form they are more combustible they can produce more energy and if you compare with its property of bioethanol though this much of amount has been imported currently being imported by the other countries we can save this money and this is only the scene for blending purpose we are currently demanding it for only blending purpose and if you are uh, understanding this technology if you are developing this technology because R&D is going on many industries in India is going on that's converting the, that's trying to convert agro waste into biofuel this will be boon to farmers economy this will boost our country economy and whatever the farmers are deciding if they know they can convert this agro waste into any biochemicals not only ethanol they can be converted into the lactic acid they can be converted into any acetic acid they can be converted into any other biodiesel even so technology development is the main target and understanding of this technology understanding of all this technology will helpful in development of some easier some economical and some more eco-friendly technique so uh, if we'll see what are the top five ethanol producer and who were the top five ethanol producer in 2010 so brazil was at the top with the 16,500 billion liter while united states 16,217 billion 70 billion liters china 2000 billion liters european union 950 billion liters while india only 300 billion liters so we have to increase this process we can increase this process if we understand the whole 
bioprocessing if you we'll, uh, see the bioprocessing of starch based ethanol production is something different than the lignocellulosic um, bioethanol production that's why there's a problem if you'll we'll see uh, starch based ethanol production we can see uh, direct uh, no uh, pre treatment is required in the starch and only there is a hydrolysis there is a liquefaction and then fermentable sugar can be obtained fermentable sugar means whatever the carbon six sugars are there they can be obtained directly glucose can be obtained and they can be utilized for the fermentation for ethanol production while if you'll see the lignocellulosic biomass ethanol production pre-treatment is the major step that is adopted for obtaining the cellulose only and then cellulose is further hydrolyzed uh, for obtaining the fermentable sugar and not only one sugar is obtained both type of sugar is obtained c5 and c6 sugar this is the main constraint and two separate pathway should be adopted for conversion of c5 c6 sugar this is the main constraint and that's why the technique is on the way to develop such a technique that can utilize c5 and c6 sugar into the ethanol directly and whatever the lignin density is produced by this lignocellulosic biomass, you can see this, this lignin can be undergone thermochemical conversion. This thermochemical conversion will be helpful in getting the heat and power and various fuel and chemicals by pyrolysis oil and in the form of synthesis gas. And whatever the product recovery of this starch hydrolysis they can be used for the food products animal food ethanol we have discussed in the first slide so this is the total pathway on bioprocessing of starch versus lignocellulosic biomass and if you want to get a higher concentration of ethanol these four steps are very important the first step is suitable feed stock means what kind of feed stock feed stock uh, lignocellulosic feed stock we are talking there are various type of lignocellulosic feed stock but uh, each feed stock varies in the cellulose varies in the hemicellulose concentration and varies in the lignin percentage lignin concentration and if lignin concentration is low pre-treatment technology will be simpler more simpler more eco-friendly more cost friendly and that's why we'll discuss meanwhile which kind of feed stock should be selected and according to feed stock which kind of pre-treatment we should take and second step is pre-treatment technology pre-treatment technology are of various type number of techniques are there some are biological based some are chemical based some are physicochemical based some are milling based and uh, out of these which technology, which treatment technology should be adopted so that uh, maximum amount of delignification should be there and maximum amount of cellulose must be produced without producing large amount of inhibitors. How inhibitor is produced? During the pre-treatment sometime harsh condition may be given and as a result of this harsh condition many of the inhibitors can be produced. These inhibitors are very, very toxic compounds, phenolic compounds, aromatic compounds and that's why such a pre-treatment technology should be adopted which must not produce very toxic components or very little toxic components and also this would be keep in mind this would not produce any solid waste or they must not be very very costly and also they must be economical and the third step is simultaneous removal of these inhibitors that's the process is called as the detoxification strategies various strategies can be adopted for the detoxification but ultimately they result in some kind of solid waste pro solid waste productions these solid waste productions Sometimes these chemicals 
by the process of biorefineries they can be converted into various biochemicals and the finally the robust biocatalyst is required so that all c5 or c sugar whatever the produced because if uh, we are degrading the lignocellulose lignocellulose is going to produce cellulose as well as hemicellulose and as well lignin so lignin is separated but cellulose and hemicellulose are the fermentable can be converted into the fermentable sugar cellulose is easily converted into the fermentable sugar while xylose that is the c5 compound c5 sugars they require separate treatment separate pathway separate microbial fermentation pathway is there that can convert them into the glucose and once glucose is obtained they can be fermented for the ethanol production this is the complete bioprocessing steps for bioethanol production from lignocellulosic biomass we can see all these steps in simple pathway these are the various kind of biomass and since biomass contain a common composition cellulose and hemicellulose are surrounded well by the lignin component lignin resides in the outer wall of the plants that protects them from the insects protects them from any harmful components so they are the defense part of the plant the, and a cellulose and hemicellulose are impregnated inside the lignin that's why pretreatment technology is required pretreatment technology actually uh, removes the lignin portion you can see the in this uh, photograph in this diagram that uh, lignin after lignin breakage there is a cellulose and hemicellulose can be released and these hemicellulose and cellulose can be hydrolyzed further to release large amount of 5 to 6 carbon sugars and these are the fermentable sugars they can do fermentation by solid state fermentation or combined by processing and whatever the lignin separated these lignin can be managed properly to produce power or generation of electricity while by the distillation whatever the fermentable sugar they can be converted to the ethanol so this we can divide the whole processing step into the pre-treatment hydrolysis fermentation and distillation and evaporation so for use for blending purpose in the vehicle this is once again the more robust steps of bioprocessing we can see pre-treatment is essentially one of the essential step for lignocellulosic feed stock that's not required in the starch based sugar there are two fraction obtained one is the liquid fraction obtained another is the solid fraction obtained and if you'll see after the pre-treatment detoxification is essential detoxification means whatever the inhibitor produced whatever the toxic compound produced for example HMF perfural phenolic components aromatic compounds these must be neutralized and neutralization can be done by the addition of lime uh, sometimes they can be adsorbed by using the ion exchange agents or sometimes enzymatic treatment can be done and sometimes they can be detoxified or separated by electrodialysis so all this method is related to detoxification and whatever the solid fraction is there this solid fraction undergo solid state fermentation and solid state fermentation imply simultaneous sacrification fermentation also in which uh, cellulose secretors microbes can be added for the hydrolysis of these cellulose compound and these cell cellulose compound is going to give rise to fermentable sugar uh, and you can see here hexose fermentation can be started by the adding the yeast so both yeast and fungus yeast and cellulitic microbes can be added in the SSF and whatever the cellulose hydrolysis is there that cellulosic hydrolysis they can be 
undergone acid enzymatic or biological treatment. And whatever the solid liquid components are there, they can undergo solid state co-fermentation where xylose content is high. Solid state co-fermentation means we are implying both the microbes simultaneously to convert C6 as well as C5 compounds. That's why uh, a C5 utilizing microbes can start pentose fermentation and convert them into the fermentable sugar. You can see this pathway. And again, hexose is produced. And once again, if a hexose is produced, they can be converted into ethanol. This is the whole bioprocessing step in detail. And again, not only we can convert this sugar cellulose hemicellulose into bioethanol, also by the technology of gasification in which syngas is produced and uh, uh, by implicating, by applying fissotrop synthesis, we can convert this syngas into synthetic diesel, which is also called as the green diesel, mostly alkenes can be converted into this synthetic diesel, this green diesel by some uh, strong uh, oxidants. So there are various steps, various processing steps, various limitation of these steps by which we can unlock this information to convert this lignosologic biomass into ethanol but which feed, feed stock is better? We'll discuss into the next part which, uh, which feed stock, what type of feed stock, and what are the different percentage of feed stock is there. We'll discuss in the next part.